Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I have seven tips in Microsoft Word that you might not know about. Let's get started right away on Teachers Tech. Tip number one, did you know you could use your phone to snap a picture, let's say of a magazine article and quickly send it over to Word and open it up and have it extract the text from the images in seconds. Let me show you how this is done. I have my phone open up here and I am on an iPhone, but this you can do on your Android too with the Office app. So I have the Microsoft Office app and I'm gonna just go ahead and open this up. I used to use the Lens all the time, Microsoft Office Lens app, but it's actually built right into this. But for me, the, the quickest way I like to do it is I just, I'm just i gonna hit that plus down below and open up Word. You can see at the very bottom left-hand corner, I'm gonna click on that. Now I'm gonna click scan text. So scan text, I'm gonna hover over this magazine article just like this and I'm gonna go ahead and snap that picture now I could move in the lines a little bit I can adjust but I won't worry about showing you too much on this I have a tutorial on the office app I'll link it down below in the card above so you can check out this app even with the more things you can do but I'm gonna hit confirm on this one and now I'm gonna hit done and at this point it's gonna pull out the text from here and it's gonna be on my phone here. But what I can do at this point, so you can see this is Word on my phone, I could edit it from here, but in the top, if I go to the top right hand corner and at this point I can give it a name, so I'm just gonna call this demo one, just like this, and I'm gonna hit save and this is gonna to save to my OneDrive just like that. So now I'm gonna go over to Microsoft Word on my computer and open it up. I'm back in my Microsoft Word, the app on my computer, and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit open. And I'm gonna look at OneDrive right here because that's where I saved it to on my mobile device is OneDrive. And I'm gonna click on there and I'm looking for demo one. It's right here. I'm gonna double click on that, open it up. This is what I scanned. So it kept some images in, in certain spots where maybe they couldn't see it and they try to put it in the right spot. I can go through and edit this too. So if I hit de delete, you can start to see uh, how it gets a little bit better, but it pulled out the words very well and you can go through and edit. There'll be certain things, even how the glare was on certain parts of the pages, it, uh, page, it might have not have seen different spaces and different things. So the better you, quality you take your picture, the easier it works with pulling the text out and then it has has the whole, uh, the, everything just kind of showing the whole picture at the very bottom. But that can be done in seconds to grab text using the OCR right out of a magazine or anything you take a picture of. Tip number two, did you know that you can use Microsoft Word to edit PDFs? And this is something I use at work all the time if I need to make, if someone sent me a PDF and I can just open it with Microsoft Word, edit it, send it back, I could save it as a PDF again. I'll just show you an example here. I have a couple PDFs, I'll just open this one up here. Uh, you can see it's a PDF, I have it open opened in Acrobat uh, DC here. And if I go, I could open this. So if I just go file and open this and go to the spot on my computer, so this case is saved on my desktop, so I could browse to that file right on my desktop. I'll just scroll down and it's the same one right here. And I could go ahead and open it. I could do it this way. Quick way I like to do, I can just drag this over and it's gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna hit okay on this one. And it's gonna go through and open up Microsoft Word and I'm just gonna enable the editing of this. I'll hit okay. And now this is in Microsoft Word here. So I can go through, I could maybe change the name. So if you had only the PDF, you didn't have the original Word, go ahead and open that PDF up in Word and you can start to edit. And remember then you can go ahead and if you save, you could save it back as a PDF too. Now another thing is I'm just going to go ahead and hit open and go to OneDrive. Let's say you scanned something in, you went to the photocopier and scanned it as a PDF. It was uh, maybe out of a, a book or something and you scanned it. I, you could go at the very bottom of this, have this one, uh, I scanned a YouTube uh, letter here and I'm going to hit OK. And it's going to do the same thing for me. So it went through and turned it all to text here and I can edit it. It kept, kept some images in where the signature was and tried to adapt in different places, but it quickly out of a scanned PDF pulled the text. So if you're going through and looking at maybe uh, if you're getting questions and you wanted to just quickly scan and then edit something, you could do 
that in Microsoft Word, save it as PDF again, and it saves you a ton of time and you don't need a different program to edit the PDFs. This third tip is for you university students that are maybe worried about citations and researching for your uh, papers due this semester. And if I go over up on the tab, go across the tabs to references here. So I click on references. Now look at this, we have researcher and insert citation. I wanna show you these two things. Researcher allows you, as it opens up on the right, allows you to search right inside Microsoft Word. So let's say if I'm asking a question, I'll just put this one in our Apple healthy. Now at this point uh, it will start looking for sources. So it's going through the web and finding different things but I'm still in Microsoft Word. I could be looking for journals or websites so I'm going to click on this journals one and if I click on this first one uh, looks like it could be matching my topic with their health benefits. I'll click on this gives me a little bit more about the author and a breakdown of this. I could go ahead and open it in a browser or I could add this source as a citation right in here by clicking on this. So when I click on this, you can see the bibliography, it headed it as bibliography right over here. Now, uh, take a look at this. So that was under researcher, but look at insert citation too. So if we have insert citation, uh, we could go through and add new source. This breaks it down for you. So you could just go through and put, you know, the information that you're collecting through here, just write it in and it's gonna help put, put it in the right spots with the commas and colons and everything on it we can switch our style really quickly. So if it was APA or Chicago, MLA, you can go through and pick those and it will instantly change and depending on what your instructor will need for you. So take advantage of this researcher and citation tool built right inside Microsoft Word. For tip number four, we're gonna move into the online world of Microsoft Word. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just, before we do this, I just wanted to point out, this is on the left is my app installed on my computer, Microsoft Word. I wanted to point out dictate right there. You notice it's by itself. Now I'm gonna go over to this window on my right and it's microsoftoffice.com and I'm under Word here. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a new document. I'm just gonna maximize this here. And now what I just wanna point out out is under home and if I go across and you can see in the ribbon we have dictate but if I drop down I also have transcribe now transcribe is a cool feature because you can go ahead and it can record your voice from here and I'll do a little test of this so I'll hit start recording so I'm just testing out this transcribe feature inside Microsoft Word I'm gonna hit save and now it just will take about 10 seconds or so and it will go through and upload it to OneDrive and transcribe it. And you can see here it says, let's start. Uh, so it, this is what it, it recorded me saying. I can listen to it here and I can even add I could go ahead and edit if I wanted. If it didn't, if I didn't say something clear enough, I could go ahead and edit it, or I could add it here. So it gets added to the document. The other thing I can do, so at the very bottom uh, right hand corner, I'm just going to hit new transcription and hit OK. I'm going to upload audio. So this time, if I go ahead and hit upload uh, of this one, and I'm just going to go on my desktop here and I'm going to grab a audio file right here. So now this is a 12 minute audio file I, and I'm going to just speed ahead here to uh, just, uh, just so you don't have to watch this upload but it only will take probably about uh, 30 40 seconds to upload but I'll put this just jump ahead. So that took about two minutes to upload the 12 minute file. It was 12 minutes of the uh, of the audio file that I put up. And notice that as you go through, it separated, even though it's just me talking into it, it kind of broke it into uh, different, different parts of it. But so at any time I could go through and hit add any section to this, but it transcribed the entire thing. So you can see at the very bottom, we have add to document. If I click on this so with just text, with speakers, with timestamps, with speakers and timestamps. So if you wanted something transcribed, take a look at Microsoft Word online and you can quickly add it to the document. Remember, once you add it to this document, you could go, if you wanna work from your app installed on your computer and if it's saved in your OneDrive, you can go ahead and open that up after and continue editing on that.
With tip number five, I'm staying online with Microsoft Word here because it's something that can't be done with the installed version on your on your desktop. Now, uh, what it is, is you can take a Microsoft Word document that's all written out and send it, export it into a PowerPoint. It's gonna create a PowerPoint for you. So what I did was I just went and grabbed one of the articles from my blog here, and this one's about augmented reality. Take a look at this. So if I go over to file here, and I go to export, we have export to PowerPoint presentation. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and you're gonna see export presentation. There's gonna, they're gonna pick some designs for me here. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time uh, showing you all the different options on this because it's fun to play with. I'll just pick this first one and I'm gonna go ahead and hit export here. So it's gonna prepare the slides, it's gonna go through the document. This document's about a thousand words and I'm gonna go ahead and open the presentation here. So it's staying online, it's opening uh, PowerPoint point online here and remember I can download these and open them up and work on them or I could share them in my uh, OneDrive and go ahead and uh, open them up that way so mul there's multiple ways but take a look at this so I just took that thousand page article and it went through and of course I might want to go through and change things but it understands if it was certain points and everything uh, that it kind of put them in a way that it makes it very visually pleasing and then if you look at designer on the right hand side at any time I can start clicking on these and it's going to make it take the same words and change it around so it's a quick way to make make a PowerPoint from your Microsoft Word Tip number six has me back in the desktop Microsoft Word app here. And I have the same article that I was just showing you with the other one with the PowerPoint. I've just added a couple images to it. This time I'm gonna turn this into a web page, and it's gonna do this by using Sway. So if you haven't seen Microsoft Sway before, it's kind of like PowerPoint, a little different. I have a, a video where I explain the difference between Microsoft Sway and PowerPoint and how to use Sway, and I'll put those links down below too. But uh, what I'm gonna to do here is go over to file and notice that there's a transform right here so I'm going to click transform and on the right it says transform to web page transform your document into an interactive easy to share Microsoft Sway and Sway is super easy to use it's great for storytelling and it works great online when you're sharing information you can see that there's different styles uh, right below these are kind of like templates but in Sway they call them uh, styles and you can go through and pick one so I'm just going to go ahead and pick this first one here and hit transform and again, I'm gonna hit transform and go from there. So it's gonna go ahead and open up Microsoft Sway here. And Microsoft Sway, you do need to be online to access it. It's not like PowerPoint when you're using the downloaded app one. Uh, it does connect uh, with your OneDrive. So here we have our Microsoft Sway that it put into a web page look here. And now at any point I can go ahead and share this. So I hit share. So I could go to a specific groups. I could go ahead, anyone with a link and go ahead and copy this, but I have more options. Uh, you can see uh, down below here. Now I could go through and click edit and, and pick how I want this to be differently. You can see how it's laid out differently than PowerPoint, but I can go ahead and do a design uh, to it and even go through here and hit styles. Remix is a fast way. Uh, if I just click it, it will qu quickly uh, change it uh, and just kind of show you a lot of just different random ones. But you can also be in a vertical. So a vertical is the up and down, the horizontal, and where it kind of goes through to the side and slides. So slides is more like PowerPoint where it will just go through one at a time with the presentation. And you can go through and edit any of this stuff. So do if you wanna learn more about uh, Sway, take a look at the tutorial that I'll link down below. Did you know Microsoft Word does Excel-like things? So for tip number seven, I'm gonna show you how you can create a table inside Microsoft Word like this. This is a pretty simple one. But the main thing I'm gonna show you is how you can actually add formulas to it to add things up. So what I mean is, I'm just gonna click in this spot right here, totals. I want to add up these totals. So if I look at the tabs across and I go all the way at the top and I go all the way across to layout, the layout tab, look at this formula 
right here. So I'm going to click on formula and then this pops up. So we have sum and it's just choosing sum. You can choose other ones. I'll show you that in a moment, but it's saying sum up everything above uh, and you can have number format. You can see the different weights. You can have the format and we can even do more than just sum. As I mentioned, if I drop down, you can see all the different ones from max to min. Uh, as I go down, you can see all the different ones that you can do inside Microsoft Word, but I'm just going to leave it as some for this example and you can create your own table and have a little fun uh, with that too. I'll hit OK and you can see it added that up. So you can do Excel like things inside Microsoft Word with formulas. So I hope you like these seven tips today. Uh, take a look at the other videos that I did mention if you want to learn more things about Office, the Office app or Sway or comparing the difference or OneDrive. Uh, I'll put links to those down below. Thanks for watching this week on Teachers Tech. I'll see you more uh, next time with more tech tips and tutorials.